Hi, who are you? I'm a robot that can talk. How can you do that? What I say is recorded and stored on a memory card. In this video I will okay. show how the microbit can be used to control a module that can play sound and music from a memory card. The module is called DF Player and it can play MP3 files from an SD micro memory card. An SD micro memory card can be inserted into a holder so that it looks like a normal SD card suitable for a PC. Once you have saved MP3 files on it, you can take it out and insert it into the DF player as shown here. MP3 files can be recorded and edited with Audacity, which is a freeware program. Here I record and crop a sound. It is then exported as an MP3 file. Here are some files from an SD micro card. The files will be given a hidden index number that matches the order in which they have been saved. The names of the files thus have no significance for the order in which they are played. The DF player does not work properly with the 3 volts that a microbit can deliver. It will need 4 to 5 volts. Therefore, it is smart to use a Wukong board that can supply 5 volts. It has a rechargeable battery. You turn it on by pressing the small black button. Press twice to switch it off. Here you can see how the various pins must be connected to the microbit. I make the connections using different breadboard wires as shown here. In this setup, I have transferred seven music tracks to the SD card. In the microbit, there is a program that can run through the tracks with button A and play a track with button B. The program looks like this. In the start block it is told that Rx is connected to P0 and Tx is connected to P1. I have also turned the volume down to 25. When you press button B, the file corresponding to the index is played. To get hold of the various modules, you have to install the extension called DF Player. The next program assumes that you use a microbit version 2, which has a built-in microphone. If the sound level becomes higher than 90, the index is increased by 1 and a sound is played. I'm a robot that can... What I say is recorded and stop. I am not as smart as Siri. I can be used to talk. I can give warnings. I have recorded a number of sentences about the music. DF player, but as you can see, the reading is interrupted every time I clap. The module is not allowed to finish speaking. To solve that problem, we need to connect the pin called Busy to P2. As long as the player is playing a sound, 
PC will be low zero volts. At the bottom of the program, I have now created a loop that waits for the current sentence to finish. That is where P2 is not equal to zero. Above, I have created a loop that waits for the question to the player to be finished. Now I can make this dialogue. Hi, who are you? I am a robot that can talk. How can you do that? What I say is recorded and stored on a memory card. Okay, I see. I'm not as smart as Siri. You sound very sensible. I can be used to talk into a GPS in a car. It is smart. I can give warnings and messages on buses and trains. You're brilliant. When I get tired, I put on some music. Okay, do that. Here I have provided a boogie from a previous video with speech that tells about the drive. The boogie is made from Lego and two Geek Server motors, as shown here. The DF player connects as shown earlier. Instead of a speaker, I have used a buzzer. Geek server motors are available with two different connectors. If you turn the connectors as shown here, both types will fit the program. Otherwise, the boogie will not turn and run correctly. The complete program is explained in the video about the boogie I put a link in the description below. Here I show the lines that make the player speak. Before that, the various sentences must be saved in the correct order on the SD card.